What's going on? I've got such an exciting video today because I bought my dream truck. I have a dinosaur now. <laughs> a T-Rex dinosaur. I just can't contain my excitement because <laughs> I'm literally sitting in a dream truck that I never thought that I could get. Well, you know, I believed in myself, right? I, I had confidence in myself and my ability to get the truck, but it's just so mind-boggling that I was able to get this truck. So in this video, what I want to do is I've had this car for about a week now. Um, so I want to give, I've been driving it almost every day. I've been basically daily driving it. Um, I want to give my first impressions. I've watched a ton of reviews on YouTube, both before I got the car and after, because I'm that person that just, when you get something, the most exciting thing, one of the most exciting things to do is like watch reviews of the thing that you just bought online. So I've been doing a lot of that. I've heard complaints from other people, positives, negatives from everyone. I kind of want to give my outlook. Um, for those of you that don't know, just like to compare like what else I'm driving regularly before this truck, um, a Porsche Macan and a C8 Stingray with bolt-ons. Um, so I'm used to like normal cars, fast cars, normal cars, because I've had other normal cars before this, but this thing is just ridiculous, okay? Like, it's crazy. I'm super stoked. Um, this is the 2023 Ram TRX Havoc Edition as well. So freaking cool, 702 horsepower. Listen, this car is crazy, okay? I. I'm like shocked at how stupid this car is because it is so fast and it's so damn heavy. That's, that's, that's crazy. So anyway, let's just get right into it. I'm going to drive to a spot, kind of give my thoughts on the car, um, but let's just, let's get going and, and see kind of how this goes. I'm going to crack the window here. We got the panoramic sunroof, so that's nice, right? Pop that open. That's some sunlight in here. Um, and I'm actually going to pop... We call that the drive through window. Welcome to Burger King, Mike. Take your order, please. <laughs> uh, this car makes me so happy. <laughs> um, very used to driving the Corvette. I, I've daily driven that C8 for more than two years now. Um, my fiance obviously got a Macan, so you know we've obviously been been using that, and I've been driving that a lot. But this is just a completely different animal. So it's. It's exciting. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> the crazy thing is, is the car weighs like over 6,000 pounds. It's like 6,500. Don't, don't quote me exactly. It's around, it's over 6,000 pounds. The crazy thing about it is how quick it goes quick. Okay, like that's the best way to describe it. How quick this thing goes quick. It's stupid. It's literally insane Like this heavy of a car this big of a truck because it's basically got a wide body kit put on it How quick it goes that quick. It's it's insane This truck is just insane. Okay, what's crazy about it is you've got the supercharger wind up front the exhaust out back Like that <laughs> but just listen to the supercharger whine, which I hope you guys will be able to hear it as well. It's so crazy, that whine. Probably one of my, uh, it's probably one of my favorite things about this car is that supercharger wine. Makes it a joy to drive every time you get in, it's insane. I think, you know, I'm almost at my spot now. I'll get into some of like the complaints that I've heard online and I'll kind of address them when I get there as well. Um, a lot of it has to do with like infotainment and very small stuff. I can't talk over that wine. <laughs> um, you know, I'll talk more about that uh, here in a little bit. It, but, you know, I think the big thing that I had to get used to when I first got this and I was driving it around is its size. Um, I mean, I'm coming from driving a C8, low, sticking, sticking to the ground, not very big, right? And it's a sports car. Um, whereas this now, it's big. Um, and you know, it probably took me 
three days of straight up driving to really get used to it. Now, since I'm used to the size, I know like my bearings, I feel good, I can drive it no problem, and it feels very nimble for being this big. Like, it feels nimble. Uh, it's just so crazy. Um, it's awesome. And, it, you know, a normal sedan will try to race me. It doesn't matter that I weigh double or triple what they weigh, maybe. I've got more power than I know what to do with, even in this big of a package. So, it's definitely crazy. Um, let me let me park right here. And let's talk about the car. Okay, now that I got a little bit of driving out of the way, um, pros, obviously the driving experience is ridiculous. It obviously took a little bit to get used to. You know, I'm used to driving the Corvette, so getting in here and driving this wide, big car, this big truck with this much power was something to get used to. But after a couple days of driving it straight, I'm used to it, and it actually feels, surprising to say, like it feels nimble. Like I can put this truck wherever I want it to go and it'll be there, right? If I needed to be in front of someone quickly and kind of cut in front of them or merge or get over quickly to avoid something, this truck has the power and it can do it. And the shocks and suspension on this thing are crazy. Um, some of the negatives. I think the biggest thing, so this is a 2023, it's a Havoc Edition, which is awesome. Um, I think some of the biggest negatives that I've seen, and like I've heard a lot of people really complain about this infotainment, right? It's laggy, it's slow, it's not good. Uh, it takes forever for something to happen when you click it. And I would agree, however, only to a certain point. So if you first start the car, you come in here and you try to click this thing and click that and do all these different things. All right, I don't want that. You try to do all this stuff quickly, right? You're like clicking around, you're trying to click on stuff. It'll take a little bit to get into, right? Now, if you give the car a second when it turns on, I know it sounds it sounds dumb. It's like, okay, this is like a $100,000 truck. Why would you even want to wait? Like, you should be able to come in, click a button, and do a thing. I get that. It's not the end of the world. It's a computer at the end of the day. And you just turn it on, you wait two seconds you can basically do whatever you want. If I want to go to apps and I want to go to auxiliary, boom, I did it. I want to go home, I want to go to the surround camera. Okay, cool, done. Uh, I want to leave the surround camera, I want to go to performance pages. Okay, great, all right, I want to go back here. Then I want to go to race options, great. Shift light, race cooldown, go back again. Mirror dimmer, right? It works and it works very well. I'd say the one thing, so, so that doesn't bother me as much. I just need to get in the car, wait for it to do its thing. Now, coming over here, because this is a digital dash now, um, on the other TRXs, it was not. Um, this has actually been pretty, it's been pretty snappy, right? Like, if I want something to happen, it's doing it, um, and it's snappy. Like, I'm I'm spamming the button, and it, and it does what I want, right? If I want to see sport view, digital, analog, Baja view, what, it, it does everything that I want. You can customize all these things, like the screen, Heads up displays, you can you can do everything that you need to. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, trailer stuff, trailer brake, which is really cool. Off-road. There's so much stuff in here. I love that is so cool. Okay. This um in my fiance's Porsche it does something similar. This navigation thing is so nice because you don't have to look up. But even if it's not here, even if it's just you know, general, I have never even been here before. What? A lap timer, G-forces, braking distance, drag timers. Oh, no way. Wow, look at that, guys. My best zero to 60 was 4.5 seconds. I don't want to reset that. Wow. I did not, I've never even been there before. I mean, look at all this stuff. Hey, my average mile per gallon is eight. <laughs> so crazy I've never even been here before look at all that oh wow boost pressure <laughs> that's so cool to see all that happening just listen listen <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cool okay uh, oil summary battery voltage tire pressure oh wow that's nice I didn't even know that 
it can kind of show you what's going on. Sport, faster shifts, firm suspension and steering, optimized for handling. Very, very cool, very cool. Did not know about that. And back here. So, I, I have really no complaints with the digital gauge cluster. If anything, me personally, I like it a lot. Um, I have one in the C8 and I enjoy it and I like this one a lot too. This on the other hand, yeah, I'll have a little bit more complaints about it uh, just because it's slower. I'd say the biggest thing that happens is when you click this TRX button, it took a second to get there and I don't love that. Uh, the only other thing I'd say is this mode thing as well. So if I'm clicking, like I'm clicking right now, and it's pretty slow. Um, now, obviously, when I start the car, I usually put it in sport mode, and it does these cool little animations. I put it in sport mode so I know, oh, three clicks to the left, that's sport mode. It can be kind of annoying, though. Um, what's cool, though, is each one of these has their own little automation um, or animation. So there's snow, tow. I don't think it does anything for that. Sport shows like you're on a racetrack. It's pretty cool. Uh, Baja. That's cool. Rock. And I know this is similar to the old TRX as well. Right, mud and sand, and you can see right here it's it's kind of bugging out. Yeah, see, it's being weird. I'm like clicking left right now. It's not really doing it. That's like my biggest gripe with it is when you're trying to change motor, clicking the TRX button does not do what you want as quick. Instead, I'm closing this. Um, instead, when you are like in the infotainment and the car's been on for a little bit. It's faster to just for me to hit performance pages, get to my performance pages, or go to race options and go there. There's really not much else that I'm too, too complaining about, or that's too much of a big deal. Um, so yeah. All right, now we're on the outside of the truck. Uh, let's talk about what the truck actually looks like, and I think that's another highlight, like the engine, driving dynamics, that's like one of the top things, and then right up there with it, is how this thing looks. It looks stupid wide uh, with this paint color, which only comes on the Havoc edition, I think looks awesome. Yeah, it's an expensive option, but it doesn't just get you the color. It basically gives you a fully loaded TRX. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks awesome. You know, the Corvette's orange. My, uh, my wife, soon to be wife, my fiance's Macan is blue. So I'm all about bright colors. You know, I feel like it looks super menacing, even in this like yellow. And I think it just looks so cool. Like it's so wide. It's got these hooks up front, recovery hooks, I believe. This is awesome. And it's freaking beefy, like all this metal. Um, I think this bit right here is plastic, but it's all metal right it's a beefy car it looks amazing it's so wide you know we've got these air inlets right here and you can literally see out the other side so they're fully functional air comes in right here air comes out right here super cool um, i know that these vents back here are not functional unfortunately but it still adds to the whole look and the feel of the truck and it just looks awesome and then these exhaust ports right here these exhaust outlets are massive like I could totally fit my fist in there. It's insane. Obviously got stuff here for your towing and your trailer. Um, as far as the actual tailgate, it comes down nice and controlled. It's really solid. Comes with the spray and bed liner, which is a really big must for me. Has even some trailer tie downs. It's really cool too. Is you can click this little button here. There we go. Lights popped on. It's pretty nice. Um, and what's really cool is you can even hop up here. There's this little kick down right here. Ah, like that. And then you can hop up in the truck and kind of do what you want. Um, tie downs, there is not an outlet anywhere. I thought there was, but there isn't. But it's really nice, fast food window, of course. That's what I'm calling it, I'm coining it that. Um, oh. Whoa. So yeah, this, this uh, step up's pretty nice. When you're done with it, you can just kind of kick it in. Um, and put the tailgate back up. Tires look really aggressive. They're big, they're 35s. I think some people like the 37s, especially on like the Raptor R. 
I haven't seen 37s in person, so I'd actually have to see to determine what they're like. They're beadlock wheels. You get those with the Havoc, um, or at least beadlock capable. So those look really cool. And of course, one of the big points here is the Bilstein shocks in the TRX. It helps it ride really, really well. You know, I've actually been driving it around yesterday. So majority of the time I've been driving it in auto or sport. Yesterday I tried driving it in Baja and I could really feel like how floaty it was. It was super cool. Um, and I think those shocks are up here too. Just can't see them. So super cool stuff. Let's actually, uh, let's take a look at the hood. So that's actually something else I forgot to mention uh, real quick before we look at the engine is on someone else's review, they were complaining about how on like a pretty expensive truck, like a 70, $80,000 truck, it didn't come with like the keyless entry, right? So like I can kind of just do that and get in and out, which I get, it's annoying, but I feel like if you're gonna get one of these, like get one fully loaded. I get it, it's stupid where if you're paying a lot of money for a truck, or a car generally, like seventy, eighty thousand, ninety thousand dollars, it should come with everything. However, I think how it's kind of how I'm thinking of it is well, you're paying a lot of that money anyway for the engine, the performance, the driving dynamics, none of that changes. If you get a base TRX with nothing in it, it's gonna drive exactly like mine, right? I paid all the extra money to get all the extra stuff, which I think is how you should do it. So anyway, that's just how I think of it. I don't know what you guys think, but this truck is so cool. It's amazing, and it's literally my dream truck. I can't, I can't believe it. It's so cool. Uh, let's take a look at the engine. Pop this, and this is so menacing. Uh, you've got the three marker lights right here in amber, and this is once again a functional hood scoop, which you'll see here in just a second. Here we go. Air gets sucked in, and it comes right from those two holes into there, directly into the engine. Super cool. I am bummed that like the cover is like this when you're looking at it. But what I think is really cool about it then is you can take a peek back here. There it is, you can see that Hellcat motor. Big old supercharger on top right there. And try to get in there. Looks pretty crazy. It's pretty insane, really, really cool. Another really cool Easter egg right here is you can pop this cover off, which I'm sure you guys have seen. And it's a T-Rex eating a Velociraptor. <laughs> Direct stab at the Raptor there. And you know, I've watched some reviews on the Raptor R and I need to drive one, I think, to actually give a really good comparison. I, I still really love the TRX. I honestly like how the TRX looks over the Raptor. I think they're very, very similar. I love how both of them look. I was considering getting a Raptor, um, not a Raptor R, because I can't even find a Raptor R, but I was really considering getting one um, at first. They both look amazing, but I think I like how the, I definitely like how the TRX looks more, even over the Raptor R. I think it looks great. And what I do like about these special editions ones, like I know there's the Lunar Edition, this is the Havoc one, um, I know there's a couple other ones in there that I'm forgetting. But the original, like not the special editions, come with like a black liner here. It's kind of like a two-tone. So there's like the blue on top and then like a black on the bottom. And I almost got a blue one. Um, but I like this because it's all yellow and there's those black accents in the right spots. I feel like if there was black at the bottom, it would cut it off almost too much. This makes it seem more aggressive. Like I can, you guys probably can't tell. Um, it's, it's tough to tell over video. Like even the videos I'm watching, people are like, yeah, it's wide. Okay, you, you can't tell <laughs> until you're in person just how stupid wide it is. It's like that kind of gets it. Like, look at that. This is the body of the car. Look at how it pops out. It's literally got a wide body kit. It's stupid. It's got big tires. Um, I'm really happy that it came with this, uh, these step ups right here. They're really nice to be able to get in and out of the car. Super cool. With the Havoc Edition, obviously, you're going to get all that extra yellow stitching. It's got carbon fiber, the yellow matched is cool. What I do wish they had though, let me go up front here, is I wish they had a yellow matched steer um, seat belts. That'd be awesome, get us an extra five horsepower. Um, but it's really cool how it's you know yellow stitching here, yellow here, we've got all the carbon fiber you could ever want. This little thing that pops up, which is cool. 
uh, carbon fiber up here, carbon fiber over there. There's carbon everywhere. I really love the yellow stitching. There's even carbon back there. It's super cool. Um, Harman Kardon sound system. It's great. I, I actually really like the yellow. I'm a sucker for like bright colored cars, so I think this looks awesome. Uh, real quick, let's get in and talk about the back seats. Ugh. And they are super spacious, super comfy. I don't know, what are you gonna put in here? Shotgun shells? <laughs> but it's very comfy back here, very spacious with the panoramic sunroof, feels awesome. Got some speakers back here, which is crazy. The sound system in this thing is ridiculous. Very, very comfy. Um, It'd just be really cool to get some yellow seat belts. What's also crazy is this. It's like a full size, nearly like center console of like a normal car back here. Nice cup holders, Alcantara with this pop up right here. Very, very nice. The interior of this is really good. You know, when I was thinking of like Ram and Dodge, you don't think this high quality interior, but I honestly love this. And it takes it up to the next level. Like my friend, um, he had a friend that got a Ram Rebel, I think, like a pretty well-optioned one. And he came in here and he was like, that Ram Rebel was nice. It was like a 2022. It was like fully loaded. The TRX takes it to another level, I think. You know, I'd have to get in the other cars myself to kind of like confirm that. But I, I definitely think it's like, it's top tier. Like I drive the C8. C8's awesome. C8 has a great interior. Like the best Corvette interior ever. Like, I don't find any complaints with this. So, my camera is like heating up big time. Let me do a quick start, I'll rev it up real quick, and I'll give some final impressions and thoughts. So guys, there you have it. That's really my first impressions of the Ram TRX. To sum everything up, I love this car so far. I've had it for a week. It drives ridiculously quick. The handling is amazing for it being a truck. Zero to 60, my best I've gotten is 4.5. I'll definitely throw a clip into that. Um, and I'm gonna do more runs. What I really wanna do is drag race this thing versus the C8 versus the Macan. Like that'd be like car wow level drag race. <laughs> um, I love this car, it's so cool. I keep saying car, it's a truck. I love this truck so much, it's super cool. I enjoy driving it every time I get in it. It's very comfy. It's a very good like yin and yang for me between the Corvette and this. Go in the Corvette, it's quick, instantaneous. It is very nimble, agile, handling is amazing. Then I get in this and the handling is amazing as well and it's a completely different driving experience but it's awesome. Um, I really love this car. Like I said, the only big neg negatives for me have been like the infotainment. I'm very curious to how a Raptor and a Raptor R drive, right? I've heard people say that the Raptor R especially drives better, has better handling than the TRX. It doesn't, it like technically has two less horsepower. This has 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. Raptor R, is, is it's right there. It's 700 horsepower, 640 pound-feet of torque. So what, you don't tell the difference. It's actually lighter than this, which is cool. Um, there have been like neck and neck and drag races, Raptor is one, this is one. Apparently the Raptor R is better off-road. I'm not sure, I can't testify to that. Um, they're, I'm sure they're both amazing vehicles. I'd love to drive one one day to kind of get an, like a very, I'd love to drive one one day to give like an honest opinion. But um, this car is amazing, this truck's awesome. Love this truck, I'm so grateful that I've been able to get it. Um, it's, it's just awesome, it's literally like a dream come true. I've wanted a Raptor or a TRX ever since I've seen one because they just look like menacing, they look amazing. I love them. Um, so I'm really excited to bring more content about this truck. If there's something specific you want me to film, answer, review, or look at, let me know. Definitely look for drag races coming between this and the C8, this, the C8, and the Macan. I think that'll be really cool. Um, and yeah, I'm grateful for this truck, grateful for all of you guys watching. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna see. If you wanna see what I do for my day job to afford trucks and cars like this, um, there's another channel called More Nicholas Corvestas. I'll link it below. You can check that out if you want to uh, for business tips and stuff. 
but hey, I'm just here for the race cars, right? The most fun you can have with your clothes on. <laughs> this thing is so much fun. Um, I'll probably put my zero to 60 run up there. Once again, just let me know if you guys have any questions. I love this truck overall. Maybe I'm giving it a little bit too much praise, but I, I think it's amazing. Yes, there's some small things, but I think the, the overall truck overshadows all of them. So if you're looking to buy a Ram TRX and you're serious about it, get one. If you're looking at comparing like Ram TRX versus Raptor R, I'm not sure. I'm sure both of them are amazing. I've seen both of them in person. Obviously I've driven this one way more. I've never even driven a Raptor. Um, I think I actually drove a regular Raptor. This compared to a regular Raptor, yeah, this any day. Uh, they're similar price point. That's the other thing, the Raptor R is more expensive. So um, anyway, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more content like this. Lots of more stuff coming your way soon with the TRX, the C8, Macan, just a ton of stuff coming. See you guys in the next video and we'll talk soon. Oh, I forgot to mention this, look at how cool this is. So we've obviously got that plaque saying that it's a Havoc edition, right? But, ah. Come on, focus. Look at the dinosaur. <laughs> this truck has so many cool things. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Talk soon.